Hello everyone, new, old, everybody out there, loving you all. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit scared for this haul. I'm scared for you all that you're gonna be sat here for a very long time because I've got so much stuff. This is basically the whole of my holiday shopping. Like this is what I'm basically gonna be taking away with me. I also have a pretty little thing and boohoo haul coming next week. I'm going away for seven days and I'm packing for 34. <laughs> I did do a poll on Instagram asking you all whether you preferred separate individual hauls or one big haul or etc. etc. And you all said um, separate hauls, I think. I think most of you said separate hauls. But I am so sorry, like I just haven't got the time. I am so busy with Venus Virgo and I'm so behind with my video schedule. I have a list of all the shops that I am. Um... People are so rude. Sorry, I just um, got a YouTube comment from someone. I always see them randomly pop up on my phone and I'm just like, oh, I just delete them. Rude comments, I'm sorry, I just delete and block people. I feel like I should be wearing my necklace. I feel naked, I'm gonna get my necklace, hang on. Okay, yep, that is better. We're about five minutes already into this video. I have no hope. I've shopped at like eight to 10 places. I've got a list of everything here. The shops being, if you are interested, Nasty Gal, H&M, I saw it first, ASOS, Forever 21, Misguided, Sports Direct, Topshop, Opoly, Mesh Key. If you were in the market for some sunglasses that are a little bit cheaper, my own brand, Venus Virgo, yes, Venus Virgo official on Instagram, check them out for sure. My Instagram is at Sarah Jo Holder, by the way, if anyone was wondering. I'm doing, I'm a lot more active on Instagram at the moment because I'm just loving stories and interacting with you all. I talk to you all every day. So if you are following me on there, be sure to drop me a message, say hello, and yeah, we're gonna get into it. I, I'm, I'm hesitant to get into it because these earrings are Forever 21. I do believe these were in the sale and I just think they're super on trend at the moment. Um, I've seen so many like vintage-esque, big kind of Pat Butch style earrings around. Um, there were some very similar ones on Zara that were sold out when I went to get them. Um, and I was waiting for them to come back into stock and then I saw these which were kind of similar but Maybe not as nice, but the price was a lot nicer for a piece of the moment kind of earring. Today I have paired it with this little top, which is Topshop. And it's a little cowl neck, which by the way, I am all for at the moment. I don't know why. I think it's just really flattering. Um, it like, ugh, you can see. The way it kind of like holds your boobs in and you don't even need a bra is just like, yes. It's got like a little cut out bit at the side with little strings and you can like tighten it or loosen it to how much however much you want. And yeah, I'm just all for that. And I thought it was just super cute. And the color is really nice as well. Personally, I think I'm gonna wear it with a pair of like boyfriend baggy jeans. Like, yes, yes. I did get a size eight and it was around 16 pounds. That like that, that is ridiculous. The next thing that I got from Topshop is this, which is just this white t-shirt, which you can't really see. <laughs> and it says Barbados on it in this like gold and silver embroidery. Um, what brand is this by? It's by the brand Tea and Cake, which is really cute actually on the labels here. It gives you like an ingredient, like it gives you the ingredients how to make a cake for like tea and cake. That's really cute, but I mean a bit pointless, but still really cute. T-shirt was 20 pounds and although it was 20 pounds, I thought, you know what, for a t-shirt 20 pound, it would be all cotton. It's actually a polyester cotton mix. I can just like envision this with uh, some high-waisted bikini bottoms and like my hair in like a little turban. Um, this tied up, the sleeves rolled up, that kind of oversized, just I threw this on kind of vibe. Do you know what I mean? And this kind of t-shirt just sort of reminds me of like a mom in the 90s. Mom in the 90s with a pair of leggings and oversized trainers. I'm here for it. I did just get another top from Topshop because I was like, they're tops. The yeah. Blah, 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 blah. So yeah, I got this one, which yes, again, kind of has like this sort of vintage vibe to it, but it's kind of in this more crochet summery yes kind of vibe like crochet is just a summer vibe for me it's that one material that i just lust over across every summer ever so i just had to pick this up and of course in white i've just become obsessed with white at the moment this was 24 pounds i got this actually in a size six as it looked like it was going to be kind of straight fitting and i wanted it to be a little bit tighter fitting 
But yeah, I absolutely love this. I think with denim, this is going to be a dream. So affordable, it's like £24. Like, and I'm sure Topshop does things like student discount and yeah, have to get. And then the last thing that I got from Topshop was a pair of sunglasses. I, like I said, I know I've got my own sunglasses brand, but I wanted like a more expensive pair as well. If you're looking for like a whole range of like different ones, then Venus Virgo is your girl. Is it key, quay, whatever you wanna call it? I'm pretty sure it is key. I've got like a selection of the key ones on Topshop. And I just picked up these, which I'm super excited about. I think these are like 40 pounds or something like that, which is a bit dear for sunglasses. But like I said, if you do want like that kind of thing, then check out Topshop. Um, there's just a girl outside rummaging through a bin. Okay, so yeah, these are like in a rectangle shape, they're brown, and I just thought these would go with everything. And that is just them on there. I flipping wow, I love them. Like, I mean, I seem a bit silly sat here now filming with this massive light in my eye, but like, how cool are these? And like, I did go through them all, and to be honest, these were just my favorite out of all of them. And I feel like these are a very popular pair. Yes, amazing. So that was everything that I got from Topshop. Moving on to the second out of 10 shop. Little shop on Misguided. And firstly, picked up this. Like, I feel like I went on the new in section and it was the first thing on the new in section. I was like, holy guacamole, like, this is a dream. A little bit of a Louis Vuitton dupe, I won't lie. I mean, from a far glance, this could well be Louis Vuitton, but amazing. You can wear it as sort of like a bum bag, as it's got like the adjustable bit there. You can wear it across body, you can wear it just on your shoulder. I've been actually wearing this as just like a little clutch. It accessorizes up plain outfits like white shirts with denim skirt or something like that. This is your gal. Like you need this bag. Everybody needs this bag. And I feel like it's a sell out piece. Like I feel like I'm so sorry if any of these pieces are sold out, but they are just bloody brilliant. Okay, so the next piece from Misguided, I adore, I really do. And it is just a plain denim skirt. So, um, a light denim wash, short skirt, A-line kind of fit, which for me is so much better than a straight fit because I do have a bit of hip. A-line does just work for me a little bit better. And yeah, I did get this in a size eight and I tried the six as well and the six fit around the waist better but was a tiny, tiny, tiny bit too tight on the hips and a tiny, tiny, tiny bit too short. And the eight is only a tiny bit big around the waist but I can kind of get away with that and I don't mind it and you can always get your skirts taken in I'd rather kind of go up than down and be uncomfortable and not to mention it was 15 pounds like 15 pounds for this amazing skirt so get your hands on one of these if you are after just a plain denim skirt that's going to go with stuff like white t-shirts white shirts that kind of simple but effective outfit like you need this in your life. Then I just got a couple of pairs of shoes from Misguided because I've always loved their shoes. I find they have the best heel selection. But can you all guess how much these were? Like, take a guess, 15 pounds. These kind of look a bit Gucci as well. Like, they're really going to town with the whole Duke thing, aren't they? But um, look at them. And they've just got this like fabric strap around there with the red and um, green stripe. And then again, around there, little block heel, which again, we all know is just so much more comfortable than a stiletto but these are just the perfect height for me but for like an all black everything outfit or if you're wearing jeans and something basic on top like these are the shoes for you i absolutely adore them i cannot wait to get a wear out of them considering taking them on holiday with me but my shoe collection for holiday is already out of control so we shall see then i just had 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 to get another pair of toe post mules you will all know that i have a pair of black suede ones from boohoo and then i saw these in the nude and the leather and i was just sold i've actually got them covered in crap there's actually a suit that i wore with these when i went out and just had the wildest night and I came back filthy. Like I'm actually disappointed and disgusted in myself. Get these, they're in this nude color. I think these are like 28 pounds or something like that, which is really good. And like a toe post kind of mule is so in at the moment as well. Like you are going to get a wear out of these. I won't lie, these aren't as comfortable as my black suede ones. I don't know if it's the material, they are slightly less comfortable. They will be because the toe post is a little bit thinner, but I still love them and I'm still gonna wear them to death. I think these look amazing with jeans as well, like jeans and a nice white top. If you're like going out, just dress it up with a pair of these. 
amazing. At some point last year, I discovered Sports Direct was just the plug for discounted Adidas, Nike, Puma, Fila, Reebok, anything. Firstly, these. Look at these little cycling workout whatever you want to call it shorts um, I did get them in the extra small they fit perfectly they're black adidas ones um, the white stripe comes down and for me these were just a holiday piece I'm gonna throw this on with like a plain black bikini top have my bikini underneath and just have it as that kind of dress down casual vibe they fit so nicely if you're the kind of person who would wear something like this to the gym these are amazing for you I'm all for the cycling short trend as y'all know and i know a lot of you are like hell no but if you did want some adidas ones 11 pounds and then <laughs> i went shopping in the junior section which is something that i do actually do quite a bit with like sports brands because especially with the boys junior i usually can squeeze myself into it they did have the uh, men's version of these by the way but i did pick up the boys in the age 14 and they're just a pair of white shorts with the cap symbol on. And I just thought these looked so vintage. Not to mention, these were reduced to like three pounds something. And I'll link it down below if it's still there, but there was like a 20% off Sports Direct code. So I got these for like, under three pounds so yeah three it's just blowing my mind but i thought again for like just round the pool throw this on i will link the men's version to these as well because i did get my boyfriend a pair of men's version um so we can match and then i just have to get them in the blue as well because you know when i find something that i love and it's under three pounds i gotta get it in more than one color and then from sports direct I've just noticed, I've been like showing you everything and I've got eyeliner on my hand. Like I was testing out a new eyeliner. I don't know if you can see that there. I did pick up some socks and I got three pairs of Puma socks for, I think these were six pounds. Yeah, $5.99. And they're just amazing. Like I wear so many of these sports socks because I'm just obsessed with trainers. But like this kind of sock poking out just looks super cool and retro and very 90s. So I just had to get a few more because I do have my Kappa ones from Primark. And I thought, let's get some Puma ones as well. Like, mix it up a little. Hold the fort. I actually was featured in the last ever Look magazine. Like, I'll insert a picture here. I was featured in the last ever Look magazine wearing a nasty girl dress. Like, how insane is that? Like, top of that, I also got a pink romper, which I haven't got to hand. And you all loved it. But I did put a picture of that on my Instagram recently. And I'll link that if that is still available. But to show you right now... I just have some shorts here which don't look too much kind of just showing you them like that they're just these like cargo sort of gray long line shorts you all know i love a cargo short um you all know how obsessed i am with my pretty little thing ones my white ones and then i saw these on nasty girl and i was like oh, let me try these out um i did get these in a size eight and they just fit slightly a bit too tight for me but i feel like the 10 would have been way too big um, but yeah, I'm absolutely loving them in this grey. I think this would look really nice with just a pair of white junky trainers, a white little crop top. So yeah, long line shorts from Nasty Gal. Really affordable, they're like under £20. And then I just got a little summer holiday dress. Like how cute. Um, you can't really see it like that, but it's this sort of senorita kind of looking yellow dobby printed dress. And I just thought it was so cute. Um, I got it in the size eight and you can wear it sort of up like that how it is or you can kind of wear it off the shoulder i feel like i would be tempted to sort of wear it off the shoulder because it's such like a speed for itself dress all you need is like a little pair of earrings and some heels which leads me on to my next and last nasty girl piece honeys i found you all the perfect holiday heels like thank me later it's just these look at these little gold beauties i've been looking for the perfect pair of gold heels for such a long time usually i always see gold heels in like a stiletto form or like really extravagant but these were just perfect and i feel like these look like they came straight out of zara and would cost about 50 pounds they've got a little tiered bit there and then up the ankle and i just thought for holiday these are perfect i am trying to only take away one set of heels this year because i'm always wearing gold jewelry gold heels will go with everything so you will need to go and get your hands on these nasty girl heels because i these may all have been in the sale like don't hold me to it but these were super affordable if i remember rightly so yeah 
amazing. Okay, so I did just get one thing from I saw it first, and I think it was four pounds. I, I I just have to show it you, and it is literally just a slinky bodycon midi like bandeau dress. <laughs> like it is that simple which I think is amazing for like an evening on holiday or even during the day in the UK with like an oversized white denim jacket, a denim jacket, some trainers I think would look amazing and because it's slinky it just literally literally fits like a glove. I feel like a bigger shop and I saw it first but I didn't get around to it and I already have so much stuff as we all already know. So maybe like after I come back from holiday, I'll do like a bit of a shop on I saw it first. Like let me know if you want to see an I saw it first haul. Okay, let's just quickly go on to H and M. And first thing I'm going to show you is this belt. I am loving a canvas belt at the moment, and I actually found this one in um, the men's section. It's got this checkerboard sort of print on it which again I think is like a massive trend at the moment and yeah just had to get it I've worn this already with this utility play suit that I got from in the style I'll insert a picture here and I will link that down below because I love that play suit and I just feel like it goes with my vibe at the moment so if you're after a canvas belt H&M man gotcha this sweatshirt here that says pistachio on it I'm gonna wear on the plane I just need to get it washed before the weekend when I go away because as you can see it is currently covered in makeup because I, I wore it for one day, then I wore it the next day, and then I wore it for another day, and I thought, you know what, this needs to go in the wash. So once this is washed, hello plain outfit, yes. Huge white sweatshirt, I think it was 29 99 and there's just something about it that is just so likeable. I don't know if it's the mint green against the white or the style of it or... I don't know, I just love it. I think it's the perfect white sweatshirt. The sleeves are a little bit ballooned, which I love, and it just fits so nice, so vintage, and it's just a piece I know you're all gonna love and have done already, because I definitely wore this like during one of my most recent videos. So be sure to go and get your hands on this H&M number. So yeah, that was it from H&M. I also did a little bit of a shop. I've done like a few shops recently on ASOS because they kept having like discount codes of, £10 off if you spend this much and being the sucker that I am, um, <laughs> did a little bit of spending. So the first piece I got was actually a branded piece and it's just this Elise t-shirt here. There was a massive toss up between this one and the all like white and black Adidas one but I don't know, this one just picked it. I feel like I'm loving this sort of logo print that covers everything if you know what I mean. So yeah, this was actually 25 pounds. Um, like I said, I probably got it for a little bit cheaper than that, but I just really liked it. And for me to buy something like a t-shirt in a designer, it's a lot because I don't do that quite often because you know I like to wear things just once. Like I have to absolutely love something. So not ready for these shorts. Like these shorts are the dreamiest shorts ever. Now these shorts actually did come rolled up and the roll up on it was actually stitched on, but um, I unpicked the stitches so I can wear them long line as well because you know I'm loving long line shorts. They're actually monkey at ASOS. They were only 25 pounds white denim shorts like yes i got these actually in a 27 inch waist and they fit just like to be honest i might have been able to do with a 26 inch waist but i really couldn't be bothered to reorder or return or exchange or any of that crap so i'm just getting away with these and you can wear them with a belt or anything like that and they have this little like vintage brown label on which is just so cute and i love them like either i would suggest with denim shorts ASOS, Zara, or like source them from your local vintage store. Okay, so the next item is this top here, which I have been trying to source for months. I've wanted it for ages. And again, this has actually got so grubby. Why do I get everything so grubby when I wear it? Just this white top here, and it's got the, the little tortoise shell buttons on, which are super in. And it's a denim top, like I'm all for it. I actually have the jeans that go with this. I haven't got them to hand and I'm not gonna lie, I can't bother to go and get them. But um, they've just got like a rope around them. They're super flattering jeans. I did actually get this in the 10 because it just kept on selling out and then the odd size would come back in and then there was just an opportunity where a size 10 came back in and I grabbed it. Then I just got a suit. Now this was pretty expensive and I've, bloody well ruined it, like, 
I'm gonna explain, I'm gonna tell you the story. Let me tell you the story. Went on a night out, bank holiday, thought, oh, I'm gonna be one of those people who bronzes up their necks, puts a bit of highlighter on, put some like um, highlighter and bronzer on my legs. It will cover your damn clothes. If you try and ignore the bronzer stains like off my legs and neck or whatever, then yeah, it's gorgeous. But um, it's just these shorts here. Like how cute are these shorts? Now we all know pink is not my natural color. I don't verge towards pink often, but when I do, like it must be something that I am absolutely loving. And I am absolutely loving these. I think they are so cute. And these were around 20 pounds for the shorts. Really nice material, sort of tailored fit, fit me perfectly. Got them in a size eight. And of course, had to get the blazer to go with it because where there's a cohort, there's a Sarah. Got this little blazer here, which was quite expensive. It was like on the 50 pound mark-ish. So which is why I am so upset because as you can see inside, where like I bronzed my neck, put highlighter on, I've just ruined it and I regret doing it. Like I was so bored before I went out because I had a bit of time and I was like topping things up. I was putting bronzer on and so yeah, if we can try and ignore the fact that I've done that and I'm gonna try and get these bloody stains out, then yeah, we have a really nice blazer. I'm loving this pink color. It looked so nice as a co all together. Really smart, it looks really expensive. You get what you pay for with this. If you are after a smart co all suit set, ASOS. I'm just going to quickly show you a few swimwear bits that I picked up from Opoly and Meshki. Right, let's just start with Opoly because these came this morning. As you can see, one thing isn't even opened yet. But I have tried the bikini on that I got. And guys, guys, if you are after a fashionable yet sexy, yet kind of modest, kind of cute, kind of everything bikini, and you want it to be white and not see-through, hold the damn fort. I have you sorted. It's like the bikini top, believe it or not, which I know looks like a t-shirt, but it's in swimsuit material, it's white, it's double lines, it's not see-through, and it is insane. It is an insane little piece. It fits so nicely and it makes your breasts look so round and so, like, it just does stick. Like, <laughs> I still can't get over it, but yeah. And then it just comes with the pants there, like so, a little thong string bikini, which I know if some of you aren't feeling, then you can just purchase white pants anywhere at the end of the day. But I really wanted these because they're double lined and I don't want to be showing off any camel toes or anything like that. I'm gonna quickly open this thing here. A little um, cover up top, which I thought was super cute. And it's just like that there, and it's covered in holes, like a little net. And I just thought over like a plain white bikini um, would look insane. The perfect little holiday cover up and Opoly of course had it. They have so much variety. Like I was so, I was basically on there for like a good hour trying to pick out like my absolute favorites, which was very, very hard for me. Like feel for you girl. These were so inexpensive what they are as well. One thing with Opoly is the quality is always insane. Like I said, the bikini is double lined and this is just, you know, it's good quality. It's not going to fall apart. So definitely worth a little check out. And then I did get some stuff sent to me from Meshki as well. Can you see the box there? Like, look at this box. I just love the Meshki box. It's so satisfying to open the Meshki box. Everything comes in like these little dust bags like this. And it's just like, oh, amazing. It's in this sort of off-white satin. It's a little crop top with gold buttons down it. And they did have the matching trousers, but I just got the top. Um, I thought the top for me would just go amazing with like a pair of jeans or like flared jeans, that kind of vintage Versace, Dolce & Gabbana kind of, oh, do you know what I mean? I did get this one in size medium actually, as I feel like they didn't have the small, but gonna rock the medium. And then, oh my God, before I get into the bikini, I'm gonna show you a cover up I got, which could equally be worn as just a dress, but it's this white satin like, You'll be able to see better in the triangle clip. A white satin long, like cover up maxi kind of thing. I love it. Like, look at the buttons on it. Look at those buttons. Like, they're like, the cutest buttons I've ever seen. This is my favorite cover up ever. Ever, ever, ever that I've ever owned and probably ever will own. I got this in the small, and like I said, I feel like this would be an amazing night piece as well for like a night on holiday, like a little lace bra, white lace bra showing through. Girl, like, hello. This is definitely 
my favorite piece of everything that I'm taking on holiday. I will probably more than likely be wearing this on the first night because oh, it's been so hard saving it. Not that I have anywhere in England to wear this to. I won't lie, this is a bit more of like a location holiday sort of piece. Don't know how many times you'll get away with wearing it in England. That said, you could wear this as like a duster jacket in England with a pair of jeans. My favorite piece of this whole haul. But saying that, I have got the cutest bikini, which fits like a glove. Be prepared for a bit of glam and glitz. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go all out this year with bikinis. I don't know why, but I was just like, there are so many nice ones around, including these are the bottoms. Look at those. They're just basically a black, like typical swimsuit material, double lined. Um, and then on the hips, I don't know if you can see, but they've got like this gold sort of meshy symbol on it there, which I thought was so bougie. I had to, I just had to get them. And I did think that these were gonna be uncomfortable, bearing in mind they're kind of made out of metal, um, but they're not. The only thing I would say is because they've got metal, I mean, going in the pool with these and getting it wet, probably wouldn't advise it. Staying in the sun for a very long time, probably wouldn't advise it, but look super fashionable. You're gonna look super cute in it and it's super flattering. They're sort of like a high rise fit, so very flattering. And then of course, the good old top, like yes. Got both the top and the pants in a small and I am all for it. Like just look at that, like how amazing is that? beautiful literally could have had everything on the site i won't lie the prices like aren't the cheapest but you've got to give them an a for originality like their stuff is super nice quality super original you're not going to get it anywhere else and that's what you're paying for so if you are after something a little bit more luxury meshki boutique if not only for the box i can't bear to throw this box away like for god's sake forever 21 let <laughs> keep saying let's get through this as quickly as possible and I know full well I'm not being quick I've used two bars of battery and already a memory card let's start with my favorite piece from forever 21 and the, oh, yeah just wait till you see it but basically it is just a white denim jacket I mean I already have a white denim jacket but I don't have one with contrast stitching on it like hello I love it I did get it in a size large so it wasn't like super tight or anything like that and it fits me just how I would like it. But yeah, it's got like this brown contrast stitching all down it. And I feel like it was super inexpensive for a denim jacket, like something 20 to 30 pounds, like somewhere in between there, which I thought was amazing for a denim jacket. You are all sleeping on Forever 21. Everyone is sleeping on Forever 21. There is so much good stuff on there. Like how did I not know about this before? I've also got the cutest like summer holiday co-ord piece ever. Um, and it's just the skirt here, which I got in a size small. Look at this, like this just screams holiday at me. If I am going for something that is patterned, it has to be on point. I feel like the only pattern things that I'm taking on holiday are the things I got from Forever 21. Like that's crazy, but they do some really nice patterned things and really good quality for the price. Like I feel like this skirt was 15 pounds. Like it's basically like a midi maxi kind of skirt, buttons all down it so you can have the buttons as high or as low as you want it. And the top was something like 11 pounds. They are coming through um, again in the same pattern. And then this, I love the material. It's like a thick cotton, like it's not thin. The top super stretchy, which is like super flattering and means it's definitely gonna fit. Got this in a size small as well. So I also got another patterned piece. I feel like having fruit on things is a thing at the moment. Like I've seen it everywhere and I am, I'm ready for it. I'm here for it. I did just pick up this black top here in this sort of gypsy style. I find this style so flattering, especially if you don't like your arms and you struggle with getting summer tops that like are covering up the arms but aren't gonna be too warm or claustrophobic. Look at that, gorgeous. And it's got like oranges all over it, which I thought looked really cute against the black. I do believe actually this is part of a co-ord. 13 pounds, 13 pounds. Like I thought this would look really cute with a pair of like cycling shorts, like the little black ones on holiday for like an evening look, a bit more of like a dressed down casual look or even against like a denim shorts. 
perfect. Speaking of cycling shorts, um, Forever 21 do a massive selection. I actually got some cycling shorts from Forever 21 last year. Like I think I got three pairs from there last year and they've come through again this year with these, which have like this little lace trim around the bottom. And I think they've got these in white as well. But um, I did just get the black. I feel like these would go amazingly with um, like the black top I just showed you. I got these in size extra small and they actually fit perfectly. The small was just a tiny bit too big. But I did get another top. Oh, their top range for like summer was just fire, like loving it. And um, this one I got in a size small and it is basically just like a little yellow camisole top with buttons down it, lacing around the edge, screaming summer at me. Sort of in this like linen material as well because linen is just a thing of the moment. It's like massive across summer and especially this summer, which I am so grateful for. Um, it's got adjustable straps, which I always pray for when there's a strappy top. So I love that. It's got like the separate boob bit, which makes your boobs look <laughs> lovely like this would look really nice with a denim blue denim or white denim i got some bikini bottoms that are the most comfortable bikini bottoms i've ever seen they did have the top to this but i didn't like the top to it um in terms of the shape for me personally but i'll leave that down below as well but i thought these bottoms could just go with something completely random on top like i wish you could feel these have you ever felt like seamless underwear or like underwear that's not meant to show through like clothes or stuff. This, this is what it feels like and it is super soft, so flattering, high waist, vintage looking. And if I can find like a nice bright floral colorful bikini top to go on the top, I feel like I'll be winning. Oh my God, it says here, seamless. There you go, seamless bikini bottoms. I got these in the extra small to small um, and they fit me absolutely perfectly. These were like three pounds or something like that. So you definitely have to get these. It was just this here, which is this like white lace little bralette. I mean, you cannot go wrong with a white bralette, especially it was in the sale. I mean, it says on here that it was originally 17 pounds and I feel like it was around the eight pound mark or something like that. But look how cute it is. I feel like this would look really cute actually with like no bra underneath. I mean, would my nipple poke through? Cute little throw on with a pair of like white um, flared trousers I think would look super cute. Keeping it all simple, all white everything outfit. You know the draw with me, all white everything all day. Um, so yeah, it's got this like lace up bit at the front which makes it look kind of vintage, like a little vintage corset. Perfect. Again, size small I believe, yes beautiful tops from Forever 21, really enjoying them. This one, like this is brilliant. I feel like it was 14 pounds in the sale and it's just this like almost trench top but in white. You all know I'm loving like a trench coat kind of theme rolling into tops or dresses or stuff like that. I've got that trench coat dress from Boohoo and now I've got like sort of like a trench coat top from Forever 21. It's bar down off the shoulder. I did get the medium and I feel like that was the only size that they had at the time, but it fits really nicely. I think it's super unique. And for 14 pounds, this definitely looks about 50. But like I feel like you could find this in so many places for a lot more, like more designer. Like this looks like a designer piece. Like this doesn't look like Forever 21 throughout with a pair of like vintage-esque jeans. I mean, something quite basic because this top speaks for its damn self. I love it. Oh my gosh, we've got to the end of the haul and this is probably the most basic, cheapest piece that I've picked up this whole haul. A plain nude t-shirt, stretchy, short sleeve, not oversized, just a regular basic t-shirt. I feel like it was in the sale for two pounds and I just couldn't say no because I love this sort of stone color and the fact that it's stretchy just makes it super comfortable, but it looks really nice. And it's a new t-shirt at the end of the day, but I get excited over a lot less. So there we have it. I think, I think, I think, I think. I feel like I have showed you everything. If I haven't, I will be sure to be inserting clips like throughout saying, oh my God, I missed out this. Oh my God, I missed out that. How are you all feeling after that? I feel like this literally has taken it out of me. I can't believe I've got another video to film after this. But thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, hello, please subscribe. Like the video if you like the video. Leave some comments down below as to what your favorite pieces were. I mean, there's a lot to fucking choose out of, but if you do have any favorites, let me know. Comment as always, because you know I love your comments. And yeah, thank you for tuning in. Again, so my Instagram is at Sarah Jo Holder and my 
um, brand Venus Virgo is just Venus Virgo official on Instagram. If you are looking for like cheaper, ready for summer holiday sunglasses, then Venus Virgo is your hookup. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm sorry it was so long, but I just love you all and love spending this much time with you. Um, I feel like I've saved myself there. Let me know if there's any other brands. I mean, I feel like I've listed them all in this video. If um, there's any other brands you want me to feature, let me know and I will check them out. I literally love every single one of you.